Hi, I'm Catherine Holloway with an RE insight into metribuzin resistance in wild radish. Now today we'll be talking about the different mechanisms that can actually cause resistance and what that means for management. We'll be looking at the research of Juan Lu. Now he's a PhD student with ARI and he's been concentrating on one particular population of wild radish that has the infamous 264 mutation. Now that's the one that brought us TT canola and it gives quite strong resistance to atrazine and also metribuzin. One of the things that uh, Juan Lu was concerned about was that with this strong resistance we may not be noticing some of the other mechanisms for resistance and they could be important in how we manage them. So this 264 mutation, it's a target site mutation. It prevents the herbicide acting at the target site in the plant. But when Juan Lu looked at it in more detail, he actually found out that there was also metabolic resistance. And the important thing about this is that it stops the herbicide getting to the target site in the first place. Interestingly, this is actually the first time that anyone's found target, uh, metabolic resistance in wild radish. And this may be because they quite often find target site resistance and then they just stop looking. So what does metabolic resistance actually mean? Effectively, it's, it gives the plant another way of dealing with the herbicide and it actually gives it another genetic advantage. So with the 264 mutation, that's a pretty much mostly spread by seed. But this metabolic resistance, it may not be as strong, but it can also be spread by pollen, which gives it a better chance, perhaps, of being spread across your paddocks. So this just shows that there are important reasons to understand the different ways that resistance can be carried and spread to other plants. And for anything that that could have both target site resistance and metabolic resistance, it means that we really do need to go back to the toolbox and make sure that we are looking at all of the different tools and throwing everything that we can get at those populations. So take a read and find out a bit more about Juan Lu's work. Thank you.